Hello everybody and welcome back to the Cursed Estate. We are back once again in Darkest Dungeon and we are getting ready to head out once again. We went to the um, Sunwood Isles for the first time in the last episode and we managed to get a pretty good trinket. I've already put together a nice team. We're going to go on this short um, apprentice level mission to the curve um, and then we're going to bring on our bounty hunter and our ringmaster for the next mission. I want to do a short first and then a medium. So I think a short to the curve. Seems like a good start. We're going to be taking out um, Hestia. Our um, Thrall Chaos. Our new Lamia Artemis. And we're going to be taking Vera as well for a little bit of extra money hopefully. Um, but first of all we've got some backstories to get into of course for this episode. Um, both our bounty hunter and our... Um, our ringmaster are people that are new to us, and we actually have a mark by the flock here as well, which is a unique um, quirk where certain enemies will hunt for you, which is pretty interesting. But first of all, let's go into the backstory. This one is by uh, Penn Simmons, and this is for our ringmaster. I believe this is um, Eileen Borden, I believe is the name. Uh, if I'm pronouncing that wrong, please do let me know. But here we go. This is a fairly long one, so let's get into it. Come one, come all to the Butcher's Circus. Celebrate the violent and depraved uh, in a no-holds-barred contest of the champions. The words have echoed in Eileen's mind for so long. They greet her in her dreaming. She grew up in the circus, raised on the euphoria of bloodshed, thriving on stage, always under the shadow of the Butcher. He was a large mountain of a man, immovable, but as she got older she could feel that the circus deserved a new face. She doesn't, he doesn't hesitate to make her challenge. She was always a proactive soul. The challenge was placed, the butcher accepted, and the crowds gathered um, in the earnest. The butcher uh, bought lackeys to fight for him. He, co uh, he sorry about this. Um, he content in his disrespect, sat stage faced eating his lunch. She smiled. She could taste the drama of the moment. This was the way it should be. Prepare yourself, my friends. Tonight, we crown a new ringmaster. She bellows to the crowd's delight. The fight begins. She takes the first lackey out uh, at the knees with little resistance. The crack of the burns was delicious. She drops him with a swift hit to the side of the head. His eyes go blank as he falls. His buddy hit her in the back while she was distracted. The pain motivates and her retaliation is brutal. She slams the mace into his gut repeatedly and he falls off the stage, limp at the butcher's feet. She's got his attention. He roars, a towering behemoth, realizing for the first time in many years he would have to actually fight for his throne. Eileen's bloodstained, toothy grin was on full display as she held her weapon high, looking, for her next, looking into her next victim's eyes. The butcher showed his teeth in an angry snarl and grabs his warhammer from the ground beside him. The fight between Eileen and the butcher takes hours. She excels in speed and precision, targeting his joints and the gaps in his armor. He is slower, but each hit he throws, uh, each hit he throws her to the ground. The ring made red. The crowd is listless. Eileen's vision is blurry and her breath is hard to catch, but her smile never leaves. She can feel her ribs are broken. Her thoughts are fuzzy, but the Butcher is losing his momentum faster than hers. Eileen senses the end of the fight is near. The Butcher, no longer strong enough to lift his hammer, makes a desperate attempt at her haymaker. She ducks under the swing and slams the mace into his gut. His head falls forward as he coughs up blood. His fist raises to meet, uh, meet it. It is over. The crowd is silent as he falls. He doesn't move again. She raises her fist high. The crowd erupts in celebration. Eileen falls, to the, um, falls into the ropes. The Butcher has fallen. Long live the Ringmaster. So excited to play around with this class. This class is so much fun. A little bit squishy, but she has some really interesting moves. We're going to play around with a lot of stuff. She's a really good stress healer as well, so we're going to be playing around with that. Um, but now we move on to our second one, which is um, Koshkin. I've actually put that wrong there, I believe. Is it Koshkin? Uh, let me just check on that. Um, yeah, it's Koshkin. I've, I've missed a... A letter there. Kosh. Kin. There you go. Apologies. So we've got Koshkin Vadim here, who is our bounty hunter. He is going to be a very, very interesting character. And also, 20% move skill on this guy is really good. So uh, this one is by Rockerin, and uh, this is the bounty, uh, bounty hunter's backstory. Vadim was no stranger to killing. Men, beasts, monsters. 
all irrelevant. The inherent of the estate invited him to drink and to negotiate his price. All the same things he'd heard before. The people need help, a creeping evil, it's the right thing to do. Once again, irrelevant. He sipped his drink for appearance, though never had the taste for it. Dulled his senses, he set it, um, set it down and went to work. Marvelling at the large satchel of coin, he snickered. The fool is desperate, although he is willing to drain his coffers of, uh, for a pro. True, the work would be difficult, but as with most distractions in life, aside from the work and wealth, irrelevant. So this is a man that really gives no shits, truly. Um, he is he is not caring what anyone says, and he's going to be a rather interesting one to pair with people. But as I said, I've already prepared a group to go on our first adventure into the curve here. Um, pretty interesting group. I'm a little bit upset that we've got uh, a locked-in Bloomy here. That might not be so good. Um, I'm also going to grab the Barbaric Yorp here, just in case. Um... And we don't have a lot of backline damage here, which is my only worry. So Iron Swan is going to help us with that. Um, honestly, if it bleeds, could be good for that, though. Maybe I'll take off that and put on if it bleeds. And Chaos here, of course, is going to be going with Mame. We've also unlocked Animosity here for a repose, which I think could be pretty good in this area. It does increase our stress taken, which is going to be a little bit difficult, but otherwise it's fine. Um, we then have Artemis here, who is going to be here mainly because she can cure Blight and Bleed and heal, but also she's going to be able to stress heal on Chaos, which is huge for him because he takes stress every time he takes damage. And then Viara here, of course, is mainly going to be coming along just to gather some extra goods. I've given her a ton of extra HP, um, plus 30% with both these trinkets, just because I think she needs to be able to take an extra few hits, especially with weak, weak grip on life. That could really make a difference. So I think we'll go into our provisions. And remember, this is only a short mission, so we don't need a lot. We need um, 8 to 12, so we'll take 12 food. We'll take 3 shovels, 1 of them, 2 of them, 2 of them, 2 of them, 1 of them. And we'll take 10 torches, just in case. We still have a good amount of money, and hopefully Viara here will be able to... Um, get us a good bit of extra money along the way. So let's jump on in and embark. And of course, we do have some more diary entries coming in. First one by Blank Gaming. This is an unsigned diary page. I spy with my little eye someone who might be of a great use to me. That Nix girl. I saw a nun giving her a dirty look, so of course I had to investigate. People fear what they don't know. And the common light worshippers, light worshippers are too used to um, burning what they fear. My search for information was very fruitful. Renault told me that um, she was one of the three sisters banished from a church somewhere outside the hamlet. What a useful guy. Anyways, I did my thing and learnt that they were banished for discovering the truth about the light. That's the entire reason I worship the damn thing, because I know it's the truth. Needless to say, I'm excited to ally with Nix and her sisters. An interview of sorts with the light itself in exchange for a favour or two. But I'll have to get close to her first. I don't I don't want her thinking I'm crazy like most others. The light has also given me an important message. She has sent someone to the hamlet directly. Similarly to how she did with me. But she said he was special. Some type of dis, uh, distortion. I have no doubt in the light um, making the right call. So I'll just be waiting for him. So we have absolutely no idea who this is talking about Nyx there. But that's... Kind of an interesting idea. I really like this mystery that we've got going on here. It's going to be something interesting to discover. Now, for some reason, we do have minus four speed for quest on him. I couldn't figure out why. Um, but I just doubled down on lowering his speed. It, uh, 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 honestly, his speed just doesn't matter. Like, he's going to be slow anyways. It doesn't really make much of a difference. We do need to make sure Fiara is uh, selected here for going in and uh, looting. Because she'll get that extra stuff like these. Laden with loot. Um, often low on farewell, dear friend, exemplary warrior, a survivor of the King's Wars, and many st um, sort of sorties in these halls met an ignoble end. We were weary, farewell and I, as we searched for sanctuary. Weariness, it appears, has a murderous streak. It blinds him to the mechanism that tripped the spikes which eviscerated him. I held him as his essence slipped away. Another giant fallen in our mad pursuit. I am alone now. Weary but unbowed, I press on. Intriguing. We don't need to keep this because it'll be saved so we can ditch that. But yeah, hopefully we can get a good bit of money. Um, 
throughout here. Do you know what? That's not a bad thing. Don't worry about it. Yeah, hopefully we can get a good bit of these and just get quite a bit of extra money for us. Ooh, uh, this is our first look at a brigand treasurer. This is a modded enemy. Basically, their entire idea is they buff their dodge and they try to escape. After a certain amount of turns, they will indeed flee. Um, if we can kill them before that, though, then we have a very good chance of getting some good extra loot. The only problem with that, of course, is that um, we only have one backline damager. So if we miss... Okay, we got the kill, but it's fine. I was going to say, if we miss, they're gone, but we got the loot. So we might get a trinket or a few extra bits of gold here. This is going to be good either way. Honestly, dodges on this guy are so good. Um, I'll just go for the hit here. That's some huge damage. Chaos is hitting like a truck. Of course, we've seen previously he does miss sometimes, but today he stands strong. And so does Hestia. Wow, that is a brutal, brutal hit. Taking us off as much stress as we can here. It's not going to be a lot of stress. It's only a little bit at a time. Um, but it's just going to keep us topped up and keep us going. Um, honestly, let's just heal you for a little bit. It's not super valuable, but there you go. And there you go. Another hit. Chaos doing great. And we did indeed get ourselves a very interesting trinket here. So let's just take a little look. 10% damage and extra accuracy if above 99% HP. Honestly, I think we just straight up give that to you. Get that extra damage going. Um, that's a really, really good trinket to get here. That's actually super valuable. So only 10% damage is only 5 um, five accuracy, but that could be the difference maker. Of course, we do have to be at max HP for it to work, so it's not always going to be active. But it saves us an inventory slot to put it on or anyways, and it's only 10% additional stress. It's really not that much. We're looking for 100% of room battles here, so we've got to go up here. Um, this is a stress heal. I've heard also, if you just touch it, you've got a chance for a negative quirk or a chance for huge resistance bonuses. So let's just touch it. There you go. That's it. Look, we got it. 33% to all resistances on a, a character that we very much needed it on as well, actually. So that is Another very valuable to us. I'm very, very happy with it. Another misfortune. Okay, we do have uh, another few modded enemies here. This guy here, the Corrupted Bosson, can actually inflict us with a disease that is uh, rather um, rather difficult. Do you know what? Let's, let's fully heal you. That's rather difficult to um, deal with, to be honest, because it's kind of like the Crimson Curse, but it's a little bit different. So, unfortunately, Gloomy there causing that extra stress. We'll, keep, we'll take out the stress dealer right off the bat there. Um... And I think we're going to go with Animosity here. Death waits. This guy does have a repose, which is a bit of a problem, but we don't need to worry too much. Salty Gouge. Good dodge. Hoping we can keep her at full HP for the next turn and get a bit more damage going. That Curl Up is rather annoying. We don't have any stuns, unfortunately, so that's not going to be great. But the repose here does a very, very large amount of damage and a bleed, so we very much like to see that. I'm going to try and take out this guy. And there's another crit coming from Hestia there. Wow. This is incredible. Um, she's still at full HP, so let's go for a heal there. And there's the crit. Artemis is kind of an interesting character. We'll go for just a heal here. Artemis is kind of an interesting char uh, character in that she does have a much darker form. And it's a form that I don't particularly use very often, but it's, it can be very valuable. Um, I'll, I'll go into it a little bit when we look at her abilities next. And we'll see if we want to make use of it. Um, at the minute, I'm just going for the heals where I can. Might as well. And a little bit more repose here. This guy has quite a lot of prop, so we're having to deal with that. Again, I want, I want to keep you at full HP to get them bonuses if we can. We did get pushed back there and minus speed. Surges as the enemy okay. crumbles. Not too bad at all. And we get some blood as well. We will actually take the blood. The blood here is going to be good for so when we end up going to the Crimson resistance. Court, which might be a little while away yet, but we still want to prepare for that inevitability anyways. But yeah, so we can actually use um, this ability here to turn ourselves into the beast. Now, when we do this, it will, um, it will uh, cause some stress for other heroes, I believe. Um... Change mode to beast, it will cause some um, some stress over rounds. It will cause some horror. But we, we do get the ability to start using the stun ability, the slither, and the hiss. It's something that I'm probably not going to use in this mission particularly. But it's something to remember for the future. Because it is a very, very powerful ability. And we might want to end up utilizing. 
We've got another one of these um, modded enemies here. I could go for the bloater guy, but I'm just going to go for the back line because I think Chaos will be able to kill that guy pretty easily. Um, and we'll keep trying to clear that stress off. The good thing is it clears stress off both of us too. Um, and then I think here we definitely want to go for the dodges. Plus five dodge here. Yeah, we want to... Oh, Chaos. We need to kill this guy pretty fast, so we might have to switch targets with uh, Hestia after this. Just because um, this guy can explode for a very, very high amount of damage. The weighted anchor is going to move him forward and give him accuracy and crit. That's a good dodge there. Dodge coming in clutch. Fortunately, no dodge there, so that's going to have to be a heal. But that's where that extra HP just comes in handy. Okay. So let's go for this guy now. And Chaos should be able to finish that off. Um, in fact... Let's, let's go for the kill here, just to make sure, and then we'll start healing you up. We both need healing here. We've actually got more health on our uh, Antiquarian than we do on our healer. That's a big hit. Okay. Oh, that's a miss as well. Okay, this is a slightly, slightly risky fight here. I'm not liking the looks of this at the moment. Um, I didn't expect to take such big hits from this front uh, front guy here. It's not particularly, not particularly good. Get rid of you, Sharp Line debuffs. That's a huge crit right there. We needed that. Okay, look for more guard. This guy's going to be doing just crazy damage. So let's pop that dodge and just hope, hope it's enough. Please don't hit. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, that, that is just to get rid of the, the, the block there, the guard, so that we can get rid of him, because he is just dealing so much damage right now. We really need to get quite a lot more heals going. It's going to be a little bit stressful here. We could stall a little bit, but I don't want to take it too far. I think I'm going to uh, bandage up here. I know I've only got a few more turns of that left, but there you go. Okay, there's a bit of bleed on him as well. Lovely. Stress is getting a little out of hand here as well. But the healing takes priority, unfortunately. Okay. Heal on you. Ooh, that, that, that battle was not good. Sea Spray. That was a good dodge. Wasn't expecting that. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. And we get a rare antique as well here. Lovely. And I think this is a stress heal for you, so you can just touch it. Okay, no, it's just a huge increase to your speed and uh, damage, which, honestly, the, the speed isn't very relevant because it just puts us to minus three now. But um, the extra damage is hugely important for us, so I'm very, very happy about that. Um, let's keep moving back. A little bit worried about going into our next bit of combat with the amount of, um, amount of issues we have going on right now, but I guess we'll just deal with that as it comes, see what happens. Make sure you're selected here. We got a bass relief here, which is pretty awesome. Gold this is uh, medical herbs, right? I, I, I don't know. Is bass relief medical herbs? Um, I'm going to try with you and hope for the best. 30% stress healing received from Inspiring Cry. Okay, that's pretty decent. That's not what I was expecting to get there, but I'll take it. And, okay, we do, we're getting a lot of the sea slaters right now, which is fairly problematic. Please, no bleed. Okay, she did get bleed resist down. Oh, she got stunned? That's actually terrible. <laughs> That's actually terrible. Okay. Um, again, this is just a really good move off the bat here. Um, I think we're going to buff up our dodge here. This is going to be a rather rough a rather rough dungeon, I think. A lot more rough than I was expecting. Um, just because we don't really have like great heals. That's a huge bit of damage there, Chaos. Thank you. We don't really have great heals, um, and she keeps getting targeted. Very good dodge there again, but everyone is a little lower than I'd like them to be. A nice heal there. Good, good. No bleed. Really? With all the resistances, you still get bled? A little annoying. Probably bandage that off of ourselves. Ah, oh, Chaos unfortunate with the miss there. It is what it is. Another bit of bleed coming onto us here. And we took the bleed again. Those resistances mean nothing. But 
I forgot we can just cure the blight and bleed. I don't even know why I bothered before not doing that. This guy with the prot is going to take a bit of damage, but we're just stacking that up to 15 dodge. That's a huge amount for these enemies. There's a good chance that we get dodges here. Not a guarantee, but a good chance. And there you go. Proving itself worthy here. Nice, Chaos. Take that guy down. And these two are annoying, so I'm going to go for a stun next, I think, here. Another great dodge. Honestly, let's go with the Barbaric Yorp here. It's going to debuff our damage and speed, but the ability to get some heals off and keep these two stunned is really, really nice. Only one healing there. Not great, but there you go. Yeah, it's the Blight and Bleed Resist, I suppose. That's pretty good. Okay. Hey, there's a huge heal. Nice. Sea Spray once again. I think that's a diseasing move, isn't it? Oh, no, it's just the speed debuff move. Okay. Um, I think, again, we're going to go for the heal. Only one. It's one of two, so it's not crazy bad. He's so close to dead. We've had to focus so much on, um, on healing that we've not really had the opportunity to uh, focus on stress healing. I'd like to get back to that if we can. Very nice. Very nice. Citrine here. I will take the citrine. Oh, we're actually done here. Okay, so this is good. I, I mean, I am going to be a little bit greedy here, and I know that the past that has proven to be a very bad idea. Um, why did I do that as our Lamia? That was very, very stupid. I don't know why I did that. Um, I meant to do it as our thingy, but she was... It's because she was in the back position by accident, I see. Yeah, we have no need now to actually keep searching. Um, but I think that it's a good idea to go a little bit further. Just because we can get so much more money out of this. And if anything comes up that we are not ready for, we know what to do. We will back the hell out straight away. Let's go for this. That, that should actually kill. Oh, you resisted the bleed, though. Okay, let's just kill you. Oh, come on now. That's just mean. Okay, nice heal there. Animosity here to get that repose going. Just because this guy can target multiple, we can do that slice and dice. And blanket fire there as well is going to get us the kill. Awesome. That does bleed after he's dead. Shank here. Ooh, unfortunately he dodged it. The repose still does have that lowered accuracy for us. That's going to be a bleed. Is that not a bleed? Oh, okay, it's just a move. That's fine. We're fine with that. Nice damage there. There's the slice and dice I was thinking of. And there's the repose damage with the bleed as well. Okay. And there's the slice and dice. And hopefully, yes, a kill. Repose is just such a powerful thing in this game. And there you go. We get the finishing blow there. Few more bandages we don't need. So clearly in view. Or is it merely I would like to get some scouting so we don't get uh, hit by traps. Like that. Cruel that just is what it is. To life with a singular purpose. Get rid of that. His stress is getting a little out of hand. Um, it would be nice to get that down, but we'll see. Maybe if we get some more fights, we can just focus purely on um, dealing with stress to try and get that down a little bit. I think no matter where we take him, he's always going to be coming uh, out with like over 50 stress. I think that's just going to be pretty common for us, unfortunately. Some more herbs here. That was a lot of stuff. Um, holy water will remove and take the gems. Hunger check, that's fine by me. Another trap on the same guy. Will find no Why? Very, very annoying. And one more room to go. Please no, please no trap. Oh, for far. Come on. There's <laughs> so much extra stress we didn't need. Right, that'll do us. We're not, we're not going to the last room, just in case. Okay, we managed to get ourselves the life ring as well here. Um, very happy about that. We come out with a solid 16,000 and quite a lot of um, crests, which I quite like. We'll have a little look how people are doing here in terms of thingy. That's not great. That's whatever. Ooh, that's... That's kind of rough. And that's also kind of rough. This one we can repurse, I'm really not happy about. 
Um, I think the first thing we want to do here... Our estate was the envy of this Ooh, land. we have some um, Forgottens here. Unfortunately, they are level zero, so I won't be taking those on yet. I think taking on level zero is a bad idea for us right now. Um, let's quickly just unequip all of our trinkets here. Um, there's our life rings. Good, good. Um, sort by class. And then I think we just want to go and put you in the penance hall that seems like actually is the bar available the bar's more your um it's not okay penance hall it is bar's more your style but penance hall is where we'll take you and viara you can go and have peace through meditation i think good good let's see who else is available here okay we have two classes i definitely want to take on so first of all an air which is a very very good healer uh very very nice to have and then we also have a Mana Arms as well. Neither of these have backstories yet, but we've got them on board ready for when they do. Um, what the hell? Plus 50% damage if not in position 1, minus 900% stress healing. Okay. <laughs> That's a bit excessive, but okay. Right, uh, then let's see where we want to embark next. So we've got... A medium mission to the curve here. We've got Plague Doctor. We've got a short mission here. Medium level 2. They're actually really, really nice. We've also got a... Okay, this is kind of a, a risky one here. I was hoping for another medium level 1. It might just be, have to be this one into the curve for the Plague Doctor trinket. It's kind of interesting. So now we're going to set up our next crew. So I think we're going to go with... Um, Titania here as our healer, Ringmaster here, um, Koshkin, our bounty hunter for frontline damage, and then who else would we like to bring? SD could probably go out again pretty comfortably. Anton's also a good shout as well. He's got a bit of bleed and stuff as well, which is kind of nice. He did go out recently, but he is he is pretty good. Let's uh, let's maybe take on Anton. Anton's pretty fun. Right, let's just quickly check up on our skills and such of these guys. Everyone upgraded. Everyone's upgraded. Good, good. And then we want to actually check what skills everyone's got equipped. So frontline, we definitely want to have collect bounty. Um, I definitely want to have come hither. I definitely want to have flashbang, and I. Th I think I want to go with finish him as well, because it can it can reach position three and collect bounty can't. But I actually want to swap these around a little bit. So go dune dune, wait, 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 wait. dune 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 dune. There you go. Okay, so that's good for you, Eileen. This is what we're going to have to take a, a proper look at. So first of all, I definitely want to go with grand entrance bonus damage on round one and forward two. Um, that's going to be pretty awesome. We want to, in, in, in the back line, if, if we just take a look, if she's in the back line and she hops forward too, that'll put you there and that'll put you, yeah, you're still in position to use all of your moves. Good, good, good. Um, yeah, I think we're going to go with that, right? Okay, um, so that's good. That allows us to do a, a grand entrance to start, which is really, really nice. I think then we go with Last Laugh, which is her main uh, attack. Then we've got to decide. She's going to be in position two here, so we've got to decide what we want to do. So we could we could do take a bow, which basically will stress heal everyone, and it will give us bonus. Um, it will give us bonus stats for the next fight. It won't affect us this fight, but it will do stuff for the next fight. We could also take fan favorite, which is going to be a huge buff to someone else. And uh, if they kill a monster, the entire party gets stress relief or has a chance to. We can also do take a kneel for a massive increase to our own damage. We've got Flumox here as well. Flumox is a good stun. We've already got Bounty Hunter doing stuns, so we don't need that particularly. I think... Take a bow... Increase damage, accuracy, and crit for the next fight. Yeah, I think I think we go with these two here. I think this is I think this is going to be pretty good. Um, grand entrance and last laugh are going to be our main two. Hundred percent crit if enemies' HP falls below forty. 
And then it makes sense because of that to give her this for the extra stress healing received on crits because she's got a guaranteed way to deal crits uh, with 100% crit if enemy's HP falls below 40% grit. Okay, so let's get ready to embark. Once again, we do have another die range to go for as well when we get into our next mission here. Uh, so let's just take a look at trinkets. So you have this, which is your Molotov cocktail damage. It's probably going to be our main ability. So probably a good idea, but it's only 10%. I guess we'll take it anyways. Um, you can gain the bonus damage and accuracy because you're going to be starting out combat. I like the idea of that. It's one... Actually, no, 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 no. You've got less health. You can have that. You can take this for the extra um, maximum HP. I realize it does lower your speed a little bit, but I think that's fine. Let me go max HP here, max HP here. You grab the extra dodge. And then I think we leave everything else as it is. Okay, I think we're good. The minus accuracy might be a little bit bad, but hopefully we can offset that by using... Um, I would take a bow towards the end of combat. Right. Let's get ready to go. So we're going into this medium apprentice mission. I think we're about ready for this. I think we're good to go. Let's go for our provisions. This is a medium mission, so we're going to be taking um, 20 food. We're going to be taking four shovels, two of them, four of them, four of them, three of them, two of them. And 14 torches, I think. And I think that sets us up just about right. I could try and get rid of some quirks and stuff while we're, while we're going out, but I don't think we need to particularly right now. I think we want to be saving up our money, really. And I think this is a good setup. So you're going to stay position one. Um, you, you can't use flashbang from position one. Maybe I'll use uppercut instead then. Yeah, just, just because flashbang is good, but we're, we're rarely going to be in position two. So we'll take that just in case. Um, and then I think we're ready to go. So let's embark on our journey here. You've got your skills set up correctly. Good, good. Quickly just check. Okay, she, did, she does have 20% extra stress in the curve, which isn't great. And you do have extra stress eating as well. Okay. I think we're good. Let's embark. Let's get going. Um, and let's go into our next diary entry here. So this one is from Nyx. Titania, the memories. Feels like only yesterday that we were cleaning our robes together. She is trying to remain distant from the others, but I would recognize her scent anywhere. Lavender, rose, and spirits. It takes me back. I would have never guessed that I would fi uh, find her here. She has changed. However, I see the familiar dimness in our eyes of those who have seen and felt death. It pains me in a way I did not expect, and being at her side despite her objections is com uh, comforting. It reminds me of her coming to my aid when I was locked in the dark room at the Abbey. She still has the warmth buried under that sorrow. She has not shaken the call, but weirdly, I wouldn't want that. She is still my sister. We worked our fingers to the bone together. We held each other when the monsters came to the abbey. We kept each other's secrets. She never told the priest about the books I hid under my bed. She never even asked about them. I hid her drinks in my bedding. I couldn't be punished more than I already was. My sister, Titania. I hope you can see past our diverging paths. I could use your warmth. So Nyx is actually uh, an, an old friend of Titania, or at least an old part of the sisterhood. And I do wonder if Titania will have the same compassion. The I doubt it, but it would be unbearable. nice. I also didn't check about Nighttime Ambush. That is more fool on me. I always do this. Bollocks. Whoopsie. <laughs> I always forget to do that. Right. Um, This is Explore 90% of the room. So I should go all the way down this path to start. No scouting to start us off, unfortunately. That is a shame. A trap, but a dodge is rather nice here. I like that. And we get a pack here. An extra bit of blood. 
will check out this journey. I, I am a become... I am become vengeance. All cultists will feel my mace. Brigands fear my roar. I am outnumbered, tis true. I am starved and half mad, but as long as there is a breath in my body, I will press on. I will wreak unbearable agony on those who would seek to despoil my great men, uh, mass. And now they come. I douse my torch. I do not fear the darkness. This is my house, and woe to the uninvited. Very interesting. Well, again, we'll take more blood here. We'll, we'll ditch it if we need, but I'd rather keep a healthy stack of blood for when we do end up going to the courtyard, which is a little ways off, I'll be honest. I don't want to start the courtyard too soon, but it's better to um, it's better to, to be prepared for when we do. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must yeah. be carried home. Right, hopefully we don't come across too many traps. We are going to come across some Mac by the Flock uh, fellas eventually. Stress wave coming in, and of course it went up for her, but luckily... Titania, she does have a little bit of dodge going for her. Vigor and tune here. That's not great. That's quite a lot of stress, actually. Wow. Um, let's get a stun on you, because you're just annoying. Good, good. Skips his first turn. And then, let's get a stun on you as well. Good stuff. How much damage is this going to do? Four to seven. It's not a lot, is it? Try and get uh, some extra damage on you right off the bat. May we find and then the grand entrance on you, maybe. Oh, that is a beautiful animation. Knocks her back, does good damage. Stress waves are going to come in. We do have a good way of dealing with stress. Now this, the the extra 20% stress there is really stacking up, isn't it? Holy hell. That's some good damage, though. That is bad. Another Molotov going out. I think I just go for the heal here. I have to go for this. I have to keep stress healing her. It's gonna be it's gonna be bad because this guy's gonna get more turns and we're gonna get more stress on everyone else. 17, wow. That's a lot. Stress is gonna be a problem here, I think. Let's go for you. Nice kill. Give them no quarter. Get everyone healed up a little bit here. Tain is the attack that can give us that disease, so it's a good job we missed that. Decimated. And that's a huge hit from Koshkin there. Wow, and that's a good bit of stress healing there as well. Let's go for more of this. Lovely. Seaward Slash coming in. That's fine, we can heal that off. I'd like to get one more turn from her. Um, let's go for the heal. I'm going to do this. I, it's, the stalling is a little risky here, but I just want to get this gone. Beautiful. Because it does do stress healing as well. And basically, we get that for one battle. Ooh, nice. Good stuff here. Uh, is anyone not using a trinket right now? Um, Natanya, but I'd rather not lose speed on her, to be honest, for the move resist. Get that open. And I'll just get rid of it. It's not It's not good enough to keep. Uh, yeah, so now, the way that that works is, next battle, we have 14 extra damage, 7 extra accuracy, and 5% extra crit, which is going to offset the minus 2 accuracy from this. It's, it's, it's all good. It's all good. Very good setup with this character. She is definitely a, a, a rather strong character compared to most. She has a lot of utility and can do a lot of different stuff, but... She's just too much fun to not use. This is good. We can probably take out this guy very early on. Um, let's go for the attack there. Let's just get the kill. Crit heal. There's a huge stress heal. That's really nice. Let's go for the uppercut stun there before he can attack. And the grand entrance on you. Love that. Kale up is going to be annoying, but we have stuns to, to stop that from having the guard. The weighted anchor. These two get plus four speed if they're in a, a, a pirate crew, which I think they are right now. This guy's below 40% health, I think. Oh, actually, is he? Maybe not quite. Maybe not quite. I'm going to try it. Ah, unfortunately, he wasn't. But still. Okay. 
top ourselves up here. And then go for that stun. Weakened. Lovely stuff. Okay, this is a good crew. These guys work well together. Anton's been seeing a lot of action recently, and I, 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 I honestly really like that. Huge heal there. Process on yourself, but still. We'll do that to get a mark on him for the next round. Dodge on the repurse as well there, lovely. Sea Spray again is going to move us around. We both resisted, luckily. These repursts are a bit annoying, but not that bad to deal with. And then there's a huge crit. Awesome. What we like to see. Lots more goods here. Um, at this point, I am going to say goodbye to the blood. And... Anti-venom as well. I don't like getting rid of stuff so early, but... We got it. Medical herbs here. Well, I want to keep at least two more medical herbs because we could find a... Um... Come on now, this is crazy. To the brave and the foolhardy you can eat that. I think I just get rid of the, the jade. For the emerald. You watch, I'll find way more jades now. That's, how, that's always how it is. Right, let's go again. We didn't actually do the end of combat thing with her last battle. We need to remember to do that if we get the opportunity. I actually had that scouted and just didn't see it, so that was a bit of a, a bit of a stupidity for me there. Let's go for that. Fifty gold. Whoa. The way is lit. The path is clear. Okay, we'll leave that as our one last room. Only the strength to follow it. Head back. Hopefully on the way back we won't come across any more random battles here. Shouldn't be too bad. When we camp, we'll go over our last diary as well, because we have one more this week. Again, thank all of you. To, thank, thanks to all of you that are getting involved with the series. I'm, I'm really enjoying playing this game, and the fact that you guys are enjoying it and getting involved means so much. It's, it's really, really good. Let's push forward and see what this crew can do. Koshkin's really proving, to, proving himself to be quite valuable so far. He's done a good job. A really good job. Here's what we're looking for. So now we can remove a negative quirk here. Uh, I don't really care about that one. Tunnel vision's kind of bad. So we could get rid of that. Curve Furby would be awesome to remove. But honestly, the other two aren't that bad. And the Mac by the Flock is fine. I think I'm going to try and get rid of Curve Furby here and hope for the best. Ah, Enlightened Quirk removed. Damn it. That's fine. Gives them more stress healing options in town, but not what we're looking for. Purchase. Spirits are lifted. Okay. This is made clear. Sadly, no scouting, so traps are probably going to be coming hot and fast. We've got three shovels. I'm going to ignore that for now, just because we do not know. Yeah, this is exactly why. Another we don't know what's coming, Another and I don't want to have to dig through any of those with my hands. Scouting here is lovely. Only one row of scouting, sadly. Not as much as we'd hope for. We we'll definitely won't be doing that. The Shambler is not something we want to face at level 1. We are not ready at all. I don't know where I'm going to camp. I haven't decided yet. Okay, another battle. We're getting a lot more of these guys here. They are kind of difficult. Go for a heal off the bat here. Friend for the old gods misses, lovely. I think we go for an uppercut on you just because you are going to attack next. And we start the mollies on you. Taint, this could be bad. Okay, we didn't get it, good. Lovely grand entrance there. Very much like to see it. We go for another uppercut on you. Being able to stun like that is just so nice. Ah, oh, unfortunate miss there. That's fine. Seaward Slash is going to hurt, but we got the dodge. And there's a big heal for Anton. I think now let's start just trying to do some more stress relieving. We're 37 there. Let's go for that next. And 
Nice. Run for the old gods. Gonna hurt with that bleed, but there it is. I love that animation, it's so good. Only a five heal there, not particularly amazing, but fine. Oh, and there's a crit from Anton, lovely. What, what's his crit bonus? Just bonus dodge, okay, that's pretty good. Good dodge in that rend there. 10 stress coming up, up to 36% extra stress healing. Let's go for that with the bleed. Two heals across the board, makes up for that bleed. And we'll finish you off there. Lovely. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Okay. Let's go for one more room and then we'll do a, a camp. Even though we don't particularly need it, I'd rather go for it. I will return with Cuthbert's banner and Boyle's crossbow so as to honour them with proper burial. I will leave what is left to thrice damned Miser and his trinkets to the swine folk. Perhaps they will bury um, him in the memorial he rightly deserves. Intriguing. Forgot to do my, ent uh, my, my uh, grand finale again. It's something I really have to be on top of because it's super valuable. Ooh, the surprise isn't particularly great here because now we can't grand entrance, but otherwise it's not so bad, I don't think. Let's let's actually see. Can okay, Anton can still Molotov from here, that's fine. Unfortunately, I don't like missing those, but it is what it is. Do a bit of stress healing. I know we're about to camp, so we don't have to do a ton of stress healing. But I'd like to do a little bit. Let's pull this guy back up front. We've got a mark on him now, ready for the next turn. It also just means we can hit a bit easier here. Not a big fan of all the stress coming in on her, but oh, he pulled himself back as well. God damn it. Why did they hit so many turns in a row? Let us have a go. Fox oh my god. It's just non-stop. Give us a turn, please. Good damage there. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. This was kind of rough. Get rid of some of that bleed. Nice hit there. Awesome. That's going to kill you as well. Pull you to the front again. You, you just blocked a guy that's already dead, so well done. <laughs> well done on that one there. Unforgiving. Good dodges on our healer. At least our healer's staying healthy. Huge damage there. A little bit overkill, but we don't care. We'll start stacking up that fire damage there. Not happy about everyone's health right now, but it is what it is. I don't think we're going to die. That's very low damage there coming in. That 25% prox kind of crazy. Now that's a bit better. Thank you. Oh my god, Titania's dodging right now. It's just immense. But unfortunately, apparently so is theirs. Yeah, the prot on this guy is really causing some issues. 16, 17. Let's go for healing on you. Oh, that's huge. Thank you, Titania. No bleed this time, luckily. Another dodge? Ah, he crit us this time. Made up for it all. Dude, Anton, you need to start hitting your shit. You're missing everything. It's bloody annoying. Okay, this guy's already dead, so we're just going to leave that. Good, good. Right, the spear's still going to be a problem for you. But we got you in one hit, lovely. Yeah, we need to start another stack of money here. So I think if we, if, if I remember correctly, I think we can camp and then start another stack. But I'm just going to get rid of the bandages because I know that I'm going to take something from the fireplace here that we that we go for. Let's do this. Circle go for a full heal and then just the go to our next, um, go to our next thingy really quickly. Our next diary entry. So our last one is the musings of a priest from Ro Rockerin. The frail man stares at the note on his desk, rubbing his eyes due to lack of sleep. 
sermon for Thursday, meeting with the nurse at the sanitarium Saturday morning, confessions have been rising. He stares at the holy symbol on the wall and sighs. The light tests us all, though I fail to see why madmen and heretics are chosen. Perhaps a test to see if our holy halls can bring them to the light, that our brothers and sisters can guide them. Am I your serv um, servant, reverent light, and trust you, O oh light? He rises from the seat with creaking old bones. Perhaps I'll join Brother Renault in the um, transept in Solomon prayer. Interesting indeed. I like the, I like the writings of people outside of the um, outside of the main cast. So first thing we're gonna do here is produce a trinket. For the Musketeer, we produced a very good trinket. Extra move skill, extra debuff chance, and a whole lot of extra accuracy. That's something that we can do with her every time we bring her out, and we we are going to want to. It's very very useful. Um, lots of extra scouting chance. I think I'm gonna go for that. And then we've got. That's pretty good. I think we're going to go for that. And then we're going to go for that. Rest. We're probably going to get a nighttime ambush here. Yeah, we did. Darkness closes in. I had a feeling. We're going to get all swapped around. That swap is pretty bad. That swap is pretty bad. Good. Oh, beautiful to get him out the way straight off the bat. And we get that guaranteed crit there as well, which is really nice. Luckily, we're all at pretty high HP and pretty low stress going into this fight. So, although these guys have higher chance to crit, it shouldn't be too bad. <laughs> he says, as he gets crit for a huge amount and bled. I'm going to take a bow just to get her to the back so I can grand entrance, which is a bit weird, but I'm going to do it anyways. And I'm going to move you just so I can get her into position. If she gets hit again, it's going to be rather risky. Oh, the crits. They just keep coming and coming. Brian's going to disease us as well at some point. Oh, this is, this is rough. Grand entrance there, lovely. What sort of damage are we dealing to you? Four to six, one to two. It's just not enough, is it? Just that debuff. Oh, God. These two, front and back, are looking a bit rough. Impressive. Good damage and a stun. That's very, 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 very nice. Coming out of this is going to be rough. Um, now you're blocked this bullshit. <laughs> you're blocking this guy now? Okay, good. You're not anymore. Oh, stop it with that move, please. I don't want more bleed on me. That guy's dead now, good. That's a huge crit right there. And a bleed, okay, that's amazing. We, we killed that enemy right there, that's great. Health is at 19 or 14, let's do it on you then. Slowly. Okay, just the annoying guy left with the insane prop. Life is taken. Bleed is great for us right now, we want as much bleed as we can get. That's a huge crit heal as well, thank you Titania, love that. More bleed coming in, sadly. Okay, luckily we resisted. More bleed on you, perhaps? Yes, we need as much bleed on you as we can get. Another crit and a stun. Very, very nice. Not the guaranteed crit quite yet. Ah, that unfortunate dodge. But he's dead anyways. Nice. Portraits I would very much like to grab. Um, they can be beaten. 
Honestly, I think we get rid of the holy water. I know holy water is good, but... I could get a stack of that going and be sad if I uh, buggered that up. Okay, we've got a battle into a room battle here. I'm really not happy about how you're looking right now. Let's give you four food. That should be enough for, to still do key food checks. A madman? Bollocks. Okay, we've got the surprise on him. That might be... Okay, we're going to pull him in right off the bat. And we're going to grand entrance into him and it's going to kill him. You see, it all came together pretty easily there. Seaward Slash coming in. Another Seaward Slash. Double the dodge. This this goddamn Sea Slate is a pain in the ass. There is a trinket you can get off of these guys, though, that nullifies them almost completely. It makes them way, way easier to deal with. Basically, it completely removes their prop. Um... At least on that character, so it's super valuable. So I, I'm hoping we can get one of them. You get you get it from killing them, so I'm hoping after killing this many we'll finally find one. Fortunate sure dodge there. Good heal. Heals have not been going too bad at all here. We've honestly kept our group looking relatively tidy. More seaweed slashes. Thank God for all these dodges. I don't know what's going on with them, but I love them. Lead? Yes. Just lowering our bleed resist by so much here. Sedated. Almost dead. He's going to curl up again, which is fine, because that doesn't actually do anything for us. It just increases the length of the guard. But he's going to die anyways, so not a problem. Oh, beautiful crit heal to Tanya. Tanya's honestly been incredible this entire time. Like, on this mission and in this campaign in general. She's doing a really, really good job. Love that. I forgot to apply my fi finale thing there, Success but it's fine. So clearly We're at the max stack of Citrine here. Um, trick of the light? I'm going to leave it. Citrine's fine. These two rooms should be the end. I don't think we have to clear this room or this room. This is a battle here going in there. Another one of these guys, of course. I don't know if it's better to try attack them early or not. I, I want to get rid of this guy though, because he's got that taint move that I really don't want to get hit by. Mark him for later. Grand entrance, killed him anyways, awesome. I love that grand entrance, it's so fun. Seaward Slash coming in. Lots of Seaward Slashes. Luckily, they don't do a crazy amount of damage at this level, but later on, they become really rough. Nice hit. Okay. This is something that we haven't seen from her yet, but we're now finally seeing. When she gets below 25% HP, she automatically gets her repost. So when she's low on HP, she just gets a repurse to standard, which is, of course, really, really nice. I, I think if we heal her, it will just go away. Yeah, it does. But it means that she's got like a last stand sort of way of dealing with stuff if she gets really low. The ground a huge quakes. crit there as well. 40% stress healing from our crit uh, bonus. Anton, you're so bad for missing really clutch throws. Very annoying. A momentary abatement. You hit that one, but not quite enough damage though. We did get Be this wary. here. Triumphant pride. Okay. So fall. this is one of the um one of the trinkets I was talking about before. Virtually immune to the plague, reaches the 95% disease resistance cap. 
I'm not exactly sure if that makes us immune to all diseases. It, I think it does. I think it just makes us immune to all diseases. That's pretty awesome. If we're ever got like a spare slot open, that's gonna be what we go for. Inspired for that 20% damage and four speed, like that. And we got nothing in here apart from a curia. Let's grab that regardless. And let's head through this way. And there it is. Okay, I think we're going to return to the hamlet here. I think we're relatively happy. Everyone's fairly low stress. And we're coming back with a good amount of riches, to be honest. Despite its morbid aspect, this twisted cavernous And here we've got... Titania's up to level 2 now, which is not great, to be honest. Oh. Oh, motivational. We need to lock that in immediately. I'm, I'm probably going to do that now. That is actually incredible on her. We got our first Duchess here. Or penance for my unspeakable transgressions. Interesting indeed. Uh, first of all, let's just organize everyone, unequip all. Let's just go on back and throw all you out. What sort of stuff we got coming up next? Musketeer. Wraith. That's decent. Dark Wraith. Cataphract. Berman. All pretty interesting. See who we might, might want to take on board. Okay. We're gonna take on. I, I I'm no. I'm I'm trying not to take on too many people at once here. I know we've already taken on two, but we have people here that already have backstories. We're gonna take on the cleric errant, which is someone that I wrote a backstory for, um, and Can also the exterminator. Necessary measure. We're doing good for for heroes so far. Okay, uh, let's take a look around town first. Actually, I want to check my cleric. That's not great. That's very good. That's also very good. Got some good stuff there. Um, also, repost failure. Wow. Okay. Sort by level. Right. Where are you? You. This is very expensive to lock in. But I am definitely going to lock it in. Motivational on her is obviously increased stress healing is fantastic but sometimes boosts the morale of the party is one fantastically useful it's very 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 good but two it's so thematic i, I have to spend the money just because of how unbelievably thematic it is it's, it's actually incredible so stress wise we're actually doing pretty much fine we haven't got anyone that's in in bad for stress um trinket wise looking pretty good we're, we're gonna have to bring out um bring her out as much as possible to get as many of these trinkets as we can because there is a hundred of them there's, there's very very many and they can be really good looking forward to using them um also yeah this is pretty interesting the captain's bottle if anyone like knows if that actually gives you 100% disease resist against all the diseases, let me know. It might just be for the plague, but it sounds like it means that you're immune to the plague and you get 100 dise uh, dise disease resist. Um, but yeah, this has been a great episode so far. We do actually have enough to start um, unlocking these now. We could do some trading to get them, but really I'd, I'd rather wait until I have enough to also uh, get these going as well. So we're a little ways off of that. So we, we need like double the crests we have right now. So we'll wait on that, but then we'll get that going soon. And our um, our guys are like, our party is definitely growing quicker than I expected, but we're getting some really key people. We actually have two new healers this episode. So we got um, our heir, which is going to be really, really good. And we got the cleric errant, which is another healer. We got Artemis. So it kind of makes up for unfortunately losing Arashad there really a big shame but we also got our mana arms as well mana arms is going to be a really good class um quite like the mana arms i wasn't i wasn't sure if to bring it on or not i like normally i like to limit myself at three classes but considering t two of these guys already have backstories ready 
But bringing on another two seems like just fine, especially considering the Exterminate, such a cool class, um, can really do some good stuff for us. And yeah, we're going to head out with uh, a new crew in the next one, and we'll start getting closer to doing the bosses pretty soon. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy this episode, and I'll see you guys in the next one.